Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel tutorial for beginner. In this part of this video, I am going to show you how controller, queues and route outs in Laravel and I am going to show you everything step by step from the very beginning. So for it, let's go and create a fresh Laravel project. So let's go to our folder and let's say we will create a project over here. So in order to create the project, we first of all need to open a command prompt. So here at the top, we will say over here CMD, then face enter. And after that, if we have already installed Laravel globally, then in order to create Laravel project, you just need to say over here Laravel new, and then you need to give your project name. Let's say our project name will be beginner underscore Laravel. So right now I'll just press enter. And here we are going to say none over here so we'll show what here null then press enter you can choose any option from here so i'll just choose psv unit and would you like to initialize a git repository we'll show what here no and here you can see laravel project is creating right now so it may take some time so right now i'll just fast forward the video and here you can see our project creation is almost complete so right now we're going to choose the MySQL database, which database will you use for this application? So we'll use MySQL. So we need to say what here MySQL, then press enter. And would you like to run the default database migration? We saw what here no, because we also need to create database for this certain project. So we saw what here no, then press enter. And there you can see it is done. So right now we need to go to our project directory. So here, uh, let me just show you. Here you can see our project is created and our project name is beginner underscore laravel. So in order to go to the project directory in the command prompt, we need to show what here cd. Then we need to show what here beginner underscore laravel, then press enter. And there you can see we are in the project directory. So in order to run the project, we need to show what here php r t serve. Then we need to copy this. Control C, but if we try to run this project in the browser, it will show us an error because we did not create any database. So let me just show you the error. So if I just paste it over here, then press enter. And there you can see no connection could be made because the target machine actively refused it. The reason is first of all, we need to open our XAMPP one here. So let me just search over here XAMPP control panel. Here you can see XAMPP control panel. We'll open it and then here we need to start the Apache and then MySQL. After that, let's minimize this. And right now, if we refresh, it will show us different error. There you can see unknown database beginner underscore Laravel. So first of all, let me just go to the PSMyAdmin. So I will go to PSMyAdmin. And here we need to create a database beginner underscore Laravel. And if by default, Laravel take the project name for database. So right now, let me just open the project using Sublime Text. You can use any other code editor. So I'll open Sublime Text. And right now, we'll click on File. And then we'll click on Open Folder. And our project name was this one, Beginner underscore Laravel. I'll select it, then select Folder. So right now, if we go to dot .env file, if you go down here, you can see DB connection is MySQL and DB database name is beginner underscore Laravel. So you can give different name if you want, but we're going to keep this then. So right now, let me just copy the database name from here. And we'll go to our PSM my ad pin and here you can see the new option. So I click on new and then we need to create a database. So in order to create a database, we need to give the database name and the database name will be this one beginner underscore laravel so we'll just say one here beginner underscore laravel then click on create and there you can see a database is created over here so right now if we refresh it will still give us an error that base table or view not found and uh, some other things the thing is we need to run the migration so we just need to run the migration so right now we are going to open another common prompt because in this common prompt the project is running. So what we are going to do is that let's go back to our project location and our project is this on beginner underscore Laravel. So we'll go inside 
and after that we'll select here as cmd then press enter let me just zoom in and here you can see that the error is we need to run the migration and here you can see that in the database there is no table over here so if we just run this command over here php or this sun migrate and if we just press enter right now what it will do is that let me just put the project and if you go to database then migration and it will just migrate those table in the database okay here you can see is the table cache table jobs table and uh, let me just minimize this and let me just press enter over here and since we press enter and right now if we just refresh our beginner underscore laravel let me just refresh over here psc my admin and here you can see in the beginner underscore laravel we have some database over here and here you can see we have the user table and all the table which is coming for our code so right now if we just refresh our project over here and here you can see this is our laravel project so right now i'm going to show you how controller use and route orgs in laravel so first of all let's go and talk about views so here you can see whatever you are seeing over here is called views so here this view is coming from let me show you if we just go to the resource that inside resource we have views and inside views here you can see welcome.blame.php so whatever you are seeing over here is coming from welcome.blade.php so right now if we just remove everything from here and if we just over here simple h table and in the body if we just over here hello and save it then if we now just refresh over here there you can see we are only about to see hello over here so where is this view is coming from how we are calling this view so the thing is here if we now go to routes then web.php and here you can see root view root view means uh, the home view we are calling this welcome.blade.php which is this one and in the welcome.blade.php we have hello and if you want to call different view what you can do is that stop welcome let's over here my page and right now we are calling a view and the view name is my page but the thing is in the views there is no my page.blade.php so what we can do is that we can just right click on views then click on new file and here we are going to say my page.blade.php control s then save so right now we are going to say simple html and in the body let's say h on tag and let's say i am from my page so here you can see from the web.php we are calling my page and my page is this all so right now if we just save it then if we now refresh over here there you can see i am from my page so right now let's say you want to create a folder in this view and uh, in that folder we'll keep this my base let's just right click on views then click new folder and we are going to over here home then press enter and let me just copy the code from here and i'm going to just delete this my base.blade.php from here and what i'm going to do is that okay uh here you can see from web dot php we are calling this my page but there is no my page over here so if we now refresh it will give us a error over here there you can see view my base not found so let's go back and here in the home we are going to just right click then click new file and i'm going to over here my page dot late dot php then control s and set so here we are going to only say this I'm from my base. Let's just show what here for. And right now, here we are calling the my page from here, but the my page is in the home folder. So we also need to mention the folder name over here. And in order to mention the folder name, we need to show what here home. Then we need to give a dot over here. So if we now save, 
Then if we now refresh our here, there you can see I am from my base home. So those are the basic of views. So right now let's go and talk about the route. So here you can see that we are calling a route and that is root view. So right now if we just saw it here slash my page, you can give the route name anything you want. Okay. So if we now just set this, then if we now refresh our here, there you can see nothing is found because for the root view, we have mentioned nothing over here, but we have mentioned my base over here, a route. So right now, if we just say over here, slash my base, then press enter, there you can see I am from my base hole. And let's say you want to go to the welcome.play.php for the root view. So for it, what you need to do is that, let me just copy then paste over here and here we are going to mention the root view over here and here we are going to say will it return view and it will be welcome and I would like to mention one thing that, that is you do not need to mention dot blade dot php over here okay so let's set this so for root view we are calling the welcome view so right now let me just keep fresh and if we just remove this and press enter there you can see for root view, we are getting hello and hello is coming from welcome.bit.pist from can. So those are the basic of route or you can also call it URL. That's fine as well. So right now we're going to talk about controller, how to use controller in Laravel. So first of all, we need to create a controller in order to show you an example, but here if we go to app, then HTTP, then here controller, we just have a default controller over here. But we do not use this controller, we normally create our own controller. So how can we create our controller? So in order to create a controller, we need to write a command. So we'll go to our command prompt. And then here, in order to create a controller, we need to say over here, PHP artisan make clone controller and after that, you need to give your controller a name. So controller name normally starts with the uppercase. So let's say our controller name will be home controller. And uh, the C normally starts with capital. Okay. Just give the first letter capital and the controller C capital. And after that, if you press enter, it will tell you where it creates our controller. So our controller is in the app, HTTP controller and home controller. So if you go to this specific location, we'll see home controller. Let me just show you. If you go to app, then HTTP, then controller. And here you can see home controller. So how can we use this home controller? So first of all, in order to use the home controller, we need to mention the home controller in the web.php. We need to show it here, use, and we need to show it here, add. And A will be capital, and we are going to give the controller location. So the location is app, HTTP, controller, and home controller. So it will be app, HTTP, backslash, controller, controllers. Then we are going to show it here, home controller like this so right now once you write this it means we'll be able to call the home controller from our web.bht so how can we call it so let me just show you so over here we are going to create a route and from that route we'll call this controller so we are going to show over here route double clone get to first bracket to single quotation and let's say our url name will be test and after that so you need to give to seal condition, then you need to show it here slash test, then give a comma to third bracket, and then we need to measure controller name, which is home controller. After that, give double clone, show it here class, comma, and here you need to give your class a name. So you can give over here any name, let's say over here, you can show it here home or index, anything you want, it doesn't matter. So right now, we'll end it with a semicolon. So first of all, you need to mention your controller name, then class, and you need to give your function name over here. So what you need to do is that here you can see index. So we need to create a function in the home controller. So what will happen is then whenever someone in the URL write over here slash test, then it will call the function 
index function in the home controller, but we do not have any index function in the home controller. So we need to write it. So here we are going to show what here public function and it will be index, then to first bracket, then to second bracket. So from here we are going to return a view. So let's show what here return view and let's say our view will be in the home folder uh, which is this one here you can see home folder and inside home folder we are going to show it here let's say index you can give your blade file name anything you want okay so let me save it and right now we are going to create a index.blade.php in the home folder so for it we we'll just right click on the home folder then click on new file and we are going to show it here index.it.php control s then save so let me just select everything and we are going to show it here normal html and in the body we are going to show it here h1 i am coming from the controller i am coming from the controller so right now let me just explain what will happen is that whenever we keep slash test in the url it will call the home controller index function and our index function will return us this view return view home dot index and home dot index is this one here you can see home dot index and in the home dot index we have i am coming from the controller so right now let's can call this slash test so i'll copy this then in the url we are going to show it here slash test and here you can see i am coming from the controller so here we are just giving a url name over here and it is taking us to different place so right now what we are going to do is that over here in this index.blade.php i am going to mention an anchor tag over here and in this anchor tag let's say over here it will be home then let me copy this then we are going to show it here this one will be my page my page so right now what we are is that whenever we click on this anchor tag it will automatically take us to the home base and whenever we click on my base it will automatically take us to the my base over here so for it what we need to do is that in this href we need to give to second bracket then we need to show it here url to first bracket to single quotation and here in order to call the route for the home what we need to do is that here you can see for home we have only slash over here so we are just going to mention slash over here and we are going to do the same for my page as well so we'll give to second bracket then we'll show it here url to first bracket to single quotation and for my page our url name is slash my page so let me just copy this and we're going to paste it over here so if we now save and then if we now refresh our here there you can see we have two options over here if we click on uh, my base it took us to this place i am from my page so let me go back and if i click on home there you can see it is saying hello over here so this is how you can create view controller and route in laravel so those are the basics of laravel so in the next tutorial what i'll show you is that i'll show you how you can create a table in the laravel database and how you can insert some data in the table so thank you very much for watching make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials